Hey friends, how are you? I hope you are enjoying videos on our channel. So uh, I'm I'm back with second part of our our improve Spark performance series. So in our first part we had discussed three ways, and in this part we are going to discuss two more ways to improve Spark performance. Okay, so the first thing in that list that we have is using the right file format so whenever uh, i see people working on big data projects you know if they are learning spark or if they are beginner to use spark i see them using json files you know probably in some tutorial they might have seen it or i don't know like like that's the uh, thing that they use normally json or they will be using csv file so you know which is in, in a way kind of text file so uh, I don't prefer these two formats because you know I believe that there's a lot of work that uh, your processing engine has to do if it wants to do any kind of query on these formats. So you should avoid using these formats. So never use text, CSV or uh, JSON format until unless it is very very important or there is it, there is strong business reason for that. Prefer formats like parquet format uh, you know which is a columnar format you can you know if you have lot of columns and you want to use only few columns as part of your uh, analysis of data then you know columnar formats are better so available columnar formats are parquet format ORC and RC so these are very good uh, you know they can compress your data uh, internally and uh, they are compression friendly formats uh, uh, if you are using snappy along with parquet uh, amount of storage that you will be using will be very less and amount uh, you uh, you know if you are writing spark spark can push down lot of filtering stuff to parquet so when it reads data the reads will be very much optimized so it will give you huge uh, performance boost if you are using parquet ORC or RC format instead of using a uh, format like JSON or text or CSV. So avoid using JSON text or CSV kind of formats use a format which is more suitable to your computing. So I prefer normally Parquet, ORC or any kind of uh, you know columnar format. Avro is also a very good format you know if you if you do are not selecting only subset of columns in your data set and you are always reading uh, you know the whole row and there is a possibility that your schema will evolve over a period of time the columns can change uh, and you could be adding few columns and you may be sharing your data with lot of teams and there is lot of cross language and cross uh, you know specifically the cross language stuff that you are doing you know in the same file is being read in python or the same file is being read in in different uh, languages then avro makes more sense uh, to me in those kind of scenarios okay so you should al also try to use compression formats you know uh, in, in your data if you're using hive or if you're using uh, spark and if there is a lot of shuffle operation that is happening if the data that is being shuffled is compressed is, is smaller in size then amount of time that it has to take to go over uh, uh, network and to be serialized and deserialized is going to be very less so always use compression and always use right file format uh, in your programs it will give you a very very good amount of uh, uh, you know performance boost cool okay okay so you know most of the time when you're processing data in in your uh, production environment or in your uh, company you might have seen that the data set are skewed it will be you'll be very lucky if you have never faced this problem skewed data set problem let us first understand that uh, what is skewed data set problem normally if you're if you don't have skewed data so all of your so consider this one rectangle as one executor here the workload being done by each executor you know I have not shown executor but it's uh, you can consider one rectangle as workload on one executor 
so here the workload on each executor is very similar this is the ideal situation where your data set is not skewed data set is considered to be skewed if one machine has to do most of the work so here is the skewed data set issue so here your data set is that way that you know uh, one key has 80% or 70% or more than 50% of data set so it is handling most of the data so in that scenario it can happen that uh, if you are doing a group by operation and some aggregation on that group data then most of your data is being handled by a single executor so most of your work is being done by a single executor so here you are losing on parallelism um, so you even though these smaller executors will finish their work early so your job will be waiting for completion uh, to happen because of a single machine that's not a good situation to have so how to handle this situation so you can use salting okay let us understand what is salting so the idea of salting is that as a randomization to your key which is creating the problem so suppose okay let, let's understand it by an example so idea is that the key which is having most of the data which is creating the skew you create buckets within that key so how to create the buckets within that key let's understand this thing by an example sports your 80 percent of data belong to one key so here we have sales data and suppose that our 80% of sales are coming from only one city, Gotham. So Gotham is a fictional city in, uh, you know, uh, Batman series, if you are aware. So, you know, pardon me if I have written the spellings wrong. Uh, I'm very bad at spelling. So suppose your 80% of the sales have come from Gotham city and you are uh, doing a group by on on the city and then you know applying the operation on the group data so in this case your operation will be very skewed the whole load will be on a single executor where uh, you know which is handling Gotham City's data so how to handle it so we can create buckets so we can create uh, you know we can divide the Gotham City data into multiple buckets say Gotham 1 Gotham 2 Gotham 3 Gotham 4 and so on whatever number of buckets you want and after this is uh, you know uh, creating these buckets you know uh, gotham underscore one gotham underscore two you know creating multiple keys from a single key is called salting so here you are adding some extra part to gotham this is called adding extra salt to your key so here you can create multiple keys from this gotham city and then the data that you have will not be skewed anymore so you can do your operation on the salted keys whatever operation you want to do after doing a group by and once the group by operations are done you have to write a merge function which will take care of uh, merging these uh, uh, salted keys into this one consolidated key as gotham so you have to do one extra step but you know a lot of stuff will be taken care uh, you will still face lot of performance improvement because of adding this salt to your key i hope this is clear uh, you know if you have any doubts please put it in your com put it in the comment section of this video i'll be very happy to answer those questions please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friends uh, thank you for watching this video